Hello and welcome to ET Health World. I am Rashmi Mabia and for today's interview, we have with us Dr. Rajiv Kumar, who is a senior consultant and chief of breast services at Rajiv Gandhi Cancer Institute in Delhi. Dr. Kumar is an accomplished surgical oncologist practicing in Delhi and the National Capital Region with a vast experience of over 25 years. He specializes in breast cancer surgery, including oncoplastic surgery and robotic breast surgery. He is an active member of many well-regarded international and national medical organizations and has also contributed significantly to the medical literature. A very warm welcome, Dr. Rajiv. Let me begin by really understanding more about the incidence of breast cancer in India and are we seeing a rising trend? See, the <laughs> breast cancer is the commonest cancer in women in India. And Delhi being capital of India, it's also capital for breast cancer in India also. One in maybe 12 of Indian women may get breast cancer, rather will get breast cancer in their lifetime, as compared to West, where the one in eight will get breast cancer. So as compared to West, the incidence is a little less, but yes, this is indeed the most common cancer in the women in India. And the incidence is, yes, it is increasing gradually, day by day, it's increasing. So is breast cancer more common in older or younger women? Traditionally speaking, breast cancer used to be a disease of elderly women. Right. When we were students, we used to see patients with 60 years of age, 70 years of age. But now we see patients, young girls, 18 years of age, 20, 21, recently married, hmm. recently engaged, having their first babies. I mean to say between 20, 30, 35 years, most of our patients come in that age group now. Whereas earlier, we used to see patients of elderly age group. So probably it is the shifting towards younger people. More and more younger people are getting involved as compared to older people, which used to be the usual case and which is a textbook thing, that it usually happens in an elderly woman. But nowadays, we see very young people also having breast cancer. The youngest we have seen are 18 year old girl. So, sir, since you highlighted about this worrying trend, what are some of the common symptoms of detection of breast cancer? So the most common symptom is that it remains asymptomatic for a long period of time. What I mean to say, a lady has got a lump in the breast, hmm. but she does not have any pain. So, hmm. so she ignores it for a long period of time. Hmm. So breast cancer, rather any cancer in the body, usually does not have pain to start with except for brain and bone cancers. All the cancers in the body are usually painless to start with, but gradually as the tumor increases in size, it invades the surrounding structure, the pain happens. So the commonest symptom is a lump in the breast, which is to start with is painless, and that is ignored, one. Two, sometimes there may be some nipple discharge, there may be some dimpling of the breast, there might be ulceration of the nipple or some itching of the nipple and the areola and then there might be an ulceration of the tumor. These are the common symptoms. Then patient might present with a lump in the axilla or the armpit. The, mm -hmm. then, then we see the nodes are there. So mm -hmm. sometimes there might not be any lump, a major lump in the breast, but there might be nodes in the axilla. Mm -hmm. Then patient may also present with a large mass that is locally advanced or advanced disease. And the patient may, may also present with the symptoms of the uh, uh, lesion, which are spread elsewhere in the body, like in the liver, lung, bone, brain. So there's a varied symptom, but the commonest symptom, the lump in the breast, that too painless. So the message is, do not ignore a painless lump in the breast. Painless uh, lumps are more sinister than painful lumps. In painful lumps, there might not be cancer, but the painless lump, there are higher chances of having cancer. So this is very important to understand whether one lump is important and then whether it is painless or painful. If it's a painless lump, it is, it is more sinister than painful lump. So how important is screening over here and how often do, should women really go for a regular screening? You see, screening should always be done, particularly in breast cancer. I always say, you see, 50% of our population is women, are women. And then more than 50% of women cancer are breast and cervical cancer. These two are the cancers of the women who, are, who occupy more than 50% of this. 
and most of these cancers can be very early detected by screening cervical cancer by a pap smear and breast cancer by a simple mammogram hmm. so mammography is a simple tool by which we can do detect breast cancer at a very early stage and uh, when to do mammography hmm. any lady less than 40 years mammography is not recommended or over 40 years yes yearly mammography should be done less than 40 years maybe once in 3 years some sort of screening should be done hmm. it can be a self breast examination or clinical breast examination or an ultrasound of the breast hmm. or sometimes mammography or rather the mri of the breast hmm. but those who are at a high risk like those who have got genetic predisposition of having breast cancer or they have got other reasons for get it done earlier hmm. for them mri or an ultrasound is a good alternative for a younger age but after 40 years of age yearly mammography is a good screening tool could you tell us a little more about the benign lumps and are they a common occurrence uh, or formation in the breast you see 80 almost all ladies in their lifetime will feel some sort of lump in their breast hmm. and the good thing is more than 80% of them are benign so the most of the breast lumps are benign but the dictum is every breast lump should be tested or seen by a physician to rule out malignancy so all the breast lumps should be examined by a good clinician and adequate testing should be there to rule out malignancy so every lump is malignant unless proved otherwise but fortunately 80% of these lumps will turn out to be benign lumps hmm. so benign lumps are very common they are usually again painless to start with small lumps in the breast which when you put your hand it slips under it slip under your hand hmm. so that is what what we call as breast mouse or fibroadenomas they slip under in the hand and sometimes there are some certain painful lumps here and there nitty gritty lumps here and there this is called as fibrocystic disease but again it's a benign disease but it causes lots of pain sometimes pain is more during menstruation then it relieves after uh, one one have is a period so these are the benign lumps the commonest is the fibroadenoma with a small lump firm lump which slips under your hand that is the commonest one and usually young people have this sort of lump but again i say malignancy must always be ruled out by a good clinical examination and certain investigations so as you're talking about uh, diagnosis and treatment could you tell us a little about the vacuum assisted breast biopsy technology well vacuum assisted breast biopsy technology has recently come into work it is good for diagnosing diagnosing and investigating benign lumps and it's also good for a very small lesion which we are suspicious of malignancy we can take a small biopsy from them but if we are 100% sure it's a benign lump it's less than 3 cm we can do a very simple uh, procedure we can put a vacuum assisted biopsy and suck out that tumor and then subject it to histopathology this is a new thing which has come up and which is very good actually for benign tumors and is vabb uh, a safe technology according to you yes it's safe technology you know hardly anything breast is more or less uh, a not a vascular but less vascular organ as compared to other places mm -hmm. so you just put a needle suck out that tumor under ultrasound guidance and then see if there's a small cavity which is there and usually nothing happens hmm. so with vabb you can not only diagnose but also remove the lumps in the breast you mean yeah. smaller lumps less than 3 cm we can always remove it with that okay and uh, when you're talking about the removal of lumps uh, by this technology does that not even require hospitalization see officially the patient has to be registered in the hospital and when mm -hmm. we take the patient into the either ot or uh, some ultrasonic ultrasound room it's not a whole day hospitalization but mm -hmm. for a small part of the day you have to be there and then we can do it mm -hmm. so not a lot long hospitalization but a short hospitalization is required okay so uh, when we talk about the vacuum assisted breast biopsy how beneficial is it in the early detection of the cancer see sometimes there are very small lesions which are seen on ultrasound mm -hmm. and the important idea is we must be able to see that that lesion on ultrasound 
so a core biopsy may be difficult because we may not be able to hit the right place so the whole area can be sucked out by this vabb machine and then that area should be subjected for biopsy and we can we can put a marker at that site so that when when it turns out to be malignant and we have to go back we have got an identifier there that we can identify that this from this area we remove that tissue and we have to remove some more this is not a curative treatment for uh, the, any breast cancer it can be used for diagnosis of a very very early breast cancer which are seen on ultrasound so if we talk about some of the challenges that you see how can uh, a delay in seeking timely treatment impact the health of a breast cancer patient well what i say that these delays are dangerous we have seen over last two years during this covid period people are not coming out of their houses and then when they come out they come with a actually advanced disease mm. where we were almost helpless to help them and when we ask why you delay well, there was covid we were not going out so this has actually caused a lot of problem to the patients as well as to us because now over a period of one and a half years two years six months these lumps are increasing day by day cancer does not decrease it it doubles every time it's not that the 2 cm lump will become a 3 cm lump and a 4 cm lump mm-hmm. the cells double 2 cm will become 4 cm someday mm-hmm. so delay is actually dangerous it is dangerous for the patients and it's difficult for us to treat such patients also so and we have seen it recently in, during covid times almost every patient delayed it almost everyone whether they are living next to the hospital even they are not coming because of they are scared that they'll get covid infection but they they are, they are suffering so what i said like, in danger deadly delay so like you talked about the delays there is also a lack of awareness how aware are indian women population uh, about such advanced diagnostic procedures especially like the vabb for breast cancer i don't think anybody is aware of that hmm. me was a patient even many doctors are not aware about that so that is the problem so we have to spread this awareness that smaller lumps can be taken out by this technique mm-hmm. and uh, it is can also be used for diagnosis for a very very early breast cancer again i will emphasize this mm-hmm. tool is only for diagnosis not for the treatment of cancer mm-hmm. you can treat benign tumor those are less than 3 cm of size by this method but this is for cancer this is only used for diagnosis not for treatment so early lumps which are benign can be treated by the with very simple technology day care procedure when can go back home very easily in the evening it's safe and simple hmm. and it can it should be used more often so lastly what is your message to our women viewers and their families well one thing is do not fear about cancer especially breast cancer hmm. it is very easily treatable curable but from your side you should come out little early do not ignore your symptoms breast lump just leave it like that for a long period of time because it does not pain abdomen is increasing in size do not do not think it's gas only ovarian cancer in women it's deadly cancer like cervical cancer get your pap smear done for mammo get your mammogram done regularly so these are simple things by which you can be detected of cancer if at all it is there and then you'll be relieved and you'll be cured if you come early to us and there are so many opportunities to cure you now what is cancer is not uh, a deadly disease anymore it's only a disease like any other disease please come early we'll treat you by the best ways thank you dr rajiv for sharing those crucial aspects on incidence of breast cancer and the great insights on the vacuum assisted breast biopsy It was a pleasure talking to you and I really look forward to connecting with you again. Thank you and have a great day. Thank you very much.